<clears throat> hey you guys <coughs> excuse me I hope and pray all is well with you all um, my hair has is going through <clears throat> something and it's been for a while uh, I've been doing research I've been just trying to see what is going on with my hair and when did it happen and it's just right now it's shrunken because I washed it yesterday and I just twist it up and it air dried but um my hair of course you can see it has grown from the time I re uh, relaxed colored it but it has thinned out so much. <clears throat> right now, it's, it's good. It's perfect. I mean, as far as any breakage and stuff like that, my hair has been good for a while. Uh, but the back of my hair, the crown of my hair is just, oh my gosh, it's a mess. And I'm just ready to cut it all off. And... I don't believe that I need to cut, I should cut my hair, but I just want to cut it all off, you know, just all off and start all over. I'm going to show you all the back of my hair. And this is probably the third or fourth video that I recorded, but I just didn't put it up. Um, my husband looking at me like, you going to do what? You going to cut what? And see like here. You probably can't tell much. <clears throat> Maybe on the other side you can see it better. I don't know. But it's just... I'm so upset. This... When I, it just doesn't curl. Like if I do my hair, it's broken off. It's, it's really broken off. I have a lot of new growth in there. But I have this old hair here that is, is thin. The hair is thin now. And this has been going on for a while, you guys. This has been going on since... It really been going on since I started when I was doing the Curly Girl. And I believe it started with... I don't threw that gel away. <clears throat> um, what is that gel? Let's... What, Ebony, what's the name of that jet? Less Jam? Custard? Yeah. I went back and looked at a video where my hair, I had a, it was, it was like a week after or something like that when I did the Less Jam video and I was saying, oh, raving about the product. And about a week or two later, my hair, I did a video and my hair, I had my whole hand was full of hair. I'm like, what is going on with my hair? I didn't see any other time where I was talking about my hair was breaking and the back being sensitive. Every time I just touch back here, it's just like, really? So, I clipped my ends. Um, as best as I as, as I could have. Um, see right there, I got a picture. I, ha I have a. Oh, my hair is so. My scalp is sore. Like I have a. I have a little. I don't know if it's from me putting oil on my scalp with the my set my scalp being sore. It's like a little bump, I guess. And it's really sensitive. But anyway, maybe you can see here. You see the ends, how it's so thin. But the root is, I don't even know if you can see here. You see the root? I don't know what you guys can see, so I apologize. But the root, probably a good two and a half inches, is thick. And then all of this is thin out. It's just thin. You can look here. Let's look at the front. See, can we do anything? 
comparison. Like my hair here, maybe that's just how it's supposed to be, but I mean, I don't know. I feel like I need to just cut this all off. Y'all saw how long my hair is. <sighs> In spots, because the back is a whole nother story. The crown area. I really want to cut off all of this. I want to cut all of this off. Like, all of this. Just cut it all off and start all over. Uh... I know my husband won't like that, but this is, I wouldn't like it. And I know my husband definitely won't like it. So, but we're gonna have a discussion and I'm gonna see what he says. Um, what do you got? Actually, I've been talking to him about this for a while now, for at least two weeks. I've been just looking at my hair Oh, no. And I feel like I'm actually ebony hair will be longer than my hair if I cut it off. So I wouldn't even, you know, I feel like I would be starting over with her. Even my scalp is a little sore here. I have a bump on my face. I don't get bumps like that. That's rare. I might get something here, but I know this is the oil, probably the black oil that I've been putting in my hair, but. I really wanted you guys to take a good look at my hair. This is a twist out and it don't even look like it. <laughs> but my hair it just don't look like a twist out. It just, it just raggly. And it's not even the perm hair. The perm. It's not the relaxed hair. I keep saying relaxer. This is dyed hair. Color treated hair. This is permanent. I want to see all that new growth. Unbelievable, but it's people probably think I had lost my mind because they saw my hair with all you know when I I semi it wasn't even really um, flat iron all the way it was just semi flat iron they were tripping like that's your hair and I'm like yeah because they used to seeing it all shrunk up <laughs> but anyway. I'm going to try to turn my head so you guys can see. Um, I really want your, what would you seriously, oh my gosh, what would you really do? Uh, now this is an opinion. I don't care about this right now. Meaning your opinion matters right now. When it comes to the Bible, my opinion, nobody's opinion matters. <laughs> but this is a natural thing, okay? Please chime in, all you gurus or hair people out there. I <clears throat> hope y'all can hear me. Can you guys see what I'm trying to show y'all? Oh, I got all this grease all on my glasses now. Oh my God, this. Should I give it a month or two and just see what happens? Or should I just cut this all off, man? Most of y'all are going to probably tell me to not cut it off and see what happens. But would you really do that? You know what I'm saying? You just would be saying that out the kindness of your heart. I want to know your opinion, for real. If you were so agitated with your hair, it's not working in the back at all. It's just not doing anything but just back there and it's... We went to Tampa. I don't know if I shared this with y'all. I might have put it in another video. And my niece was like, you know, everybody was like, oh, your hair is so beautiful and all that. And my other niece went in the back and said, oh, back here, it's, it done came out. You know, like when you be going to sleep, but I don't even sleep on the back of my head like that. So it's not even that. And how many years I've been natural? Really? So it took that long for it to start breaking off. Look at this. Can y'all even see? It's it's like a lot of new growth in here.
Is that the key word? New growth means leave it alone. At least I have it documented if I don't cut it. And then I'll let you guys know what I'm doing and stuff like that. I'm just making my hair more puffed up. <clears throat> but anyway, I, I really want you guys to see and for myself to get a good picture. I know when I turn all the way around, you can't really see. Here we are. I'm going to turn around in the... I don't even know if y'all see what I'm doing. But I really am... See, I know you probably can't even see what I'm doing here because my hair is black. See all that new growth in there? I mean, it's growing. It feels like, woo! Feel like some bushes. <laughs> okay, I'm serious about this, you guys. I know I done talked here for a long time, but I really, oh my gosh, every time I touch the back of my head, I want to cut it off, cut off my hair. And I know the hair is the woman's glory. It is not my glory right now. It is my really three products. <clears throat> Three products, and this look like this has gotten worse. I don't even know. Three products that I used. Three products that I know I used that when I first went natural and things from, um, let me go back. Yeah, when I first went natural, was and I know I keep singing this song, but it started, it just really destroyed my hair at that time. It is Hydrothermal Naturals, okay? It was harsh on my hair, very, very, very harsh. The shampoo was terrible, it stripped my hair. Uh, I thought it was a conditioner because it felt so like creamy and all of that. And this was the second condition sh shampoo. Like you shampoo and then you shampoo it again, you know. Who would think you're going to shampoo your hair with something else different, you know, two shampoos. And <clears throat> it was on my negligent on uh, not, I knew what I had to do, the steps, but I just... Totally forgot, girl, this is a, a shampoo you're putting in your hair. So I did like this. Oh, my gosh. My hair was like, I couldn't even pull my hand through. It was so rough and tough. And, and all I used was a little old dime size. I mean, it had so much lather in it. Oh, my God. It's, it's going to cleanse your hair, baby. You want something going to cleanse? Strip? Yeah. It wasn't no moisture left, and then, then you had to use, it was probably like six or seven, I bought the whole set. I spent over $100 on these products, and oh my gosh, that messed up the crown of my hair. That's what my hair started, work, uh, messed up, and that was my first incident. And maybe no sodium on my hair, so I don't, actually I don't use any sodium or sulfates, any sulfates on my hair. And that started. So I went and locked my hair. So I locked my hair. I'm going to come back and do another video because this is long. Sorry, y'all. I'll come back and hopefully talk about that later today or maybe in a few shakes. Thousand rows, y'all be blessed.